Now is mastering time. So once you have the final mix, how do you master it? Well, first of all, we have to clarify what is mastering because the term mastering was changing with time. At the beginning, mastering had to do with leveling the volume of the different songs of an album. It could be an LP at the very beginning or a CD later and enhancing the final mix with EQ, equalization, or maybe a compressor or something like that. Now we have what is called the loudness war in which the song of each artist must sound louder than anyone else. And then between these two options, we could place ourselves and make a great mastering. And that's what we will do today. The first thing I want to show you is these three different songs. Those are three different songs from very famous bands. And the three of them are completely finished with mastering included. I guess you know how a graphic for a song looks, but I want to show you some tips. In this part, the small part in the, in the graphic, this is the soft part, the beginning of the song when the song is really soft and nice and the volume goes up and this is the loudest part of the song, here and here. The same in this second song, the really soft mellow, the heaviest part of the song. Same here, soft mellow part, really loud part. Let me show you this first one. Surprise, this was Coldplay. Listen to the second one. Okay, that was Metallica. And listen to this one. Now let's go back to this one. Okay, this comparison was about what? It was that it doesn't matter if the song is soft or mellow, the three songs in the loudest part of the song have the same volume. So what you want is that your song be somewhere in between those. Uh, you don't want your song to be really soft and have no volume at all compared to other songs that you're listening. So. Let me show you this. This is going to be surprising. This is the final mix of my song. Do you see? Compared to this one of Nirvana or compared to that one from Coldplay. Basically, it has no volume. So what we have to do now is to convert it and make it look something like that. And I'll show you three different options. In this case, I have no mastering. This have uh, some mastering and this is one that is blowing out speakers. The thing is that you have to decide which one is, is your taste. If you want something like this, something like this, in this one, for example, you have a range that is, for example, let me show you what happened when I do this. Uh, normalize. I'm gonna normalize it. And you see, now these two have 
in the peaks the same volume but in the center are completely different you can see the peaks in here those are the symbols or the or the snare drums but in here you don't you can't see that because everything is loud so the difference between a soft sound and a, a loud sound is not noticeable in here but in here you can see that so let me show you a little bit of this and let's listen to this one Okay, now listen to this part. Okay, maybe the second sounds louder, but the first one has a different feeling. So you gotta choose which one you want for your production. Let's get into Pro Tools. First, we'll open a new project and import our final mix. Well, now we have the final mix. So, in the channel of the final mix, we'll go here. And in my case, I'm going to add EQ. Because I heard it and I want it a little more bassy a lot more bassy for real <laughs> once i did that that's because of my in my case i like it like that i did that now we go here and put a compressor the compressor is what's gonna help us in my case that i have so little volume in the in the mix this is gonna add a lot of volume so I like this one that is crush but I don't want it so crushy <laughs> so let's do this this gonna this is gonna go down to 11 and this is gonna be 16 I, uh, 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 minus 16 oh minus 16 plus 1 is fine okay and then we'll close this and then here in the master track we'll put another compressor but this is gonna be what they call break wall okay so let's see what happened okay you can see here the level I want it really close to the edge But it's not allowing me to go so high. So in here we'll do I it. don't know if I'd have a chance to meet you on Okay, we'll do it in here. So we we'll move the threshold up. To be really close so you can see this. When I move the threshold up and down, that means that this line that is straight is going to be really close. Well, this is the limit. Nothing is passing over this line. So I want it really close to the edge, but not touching the edge. Let's see here and see what happened. Let's play it.
Okay. Looks nice. Perfect. Now, what we will do is export audio mix. This is gonna be called Baby Master 10. Export. And yes. Okay, now let's open it in here. File import. Well, we just opened this file and this is really close to what we want. The point is that in order to finish it in a really professional way, to leave it mastered in a really professional way, you need a plugin that is not free. And since we're doing these tutorials uh, for Pro Tools first, which is free, I'm going to help you with this using free stuff that comes with Audacity. So what we will do is select the whole track and then we go to effect and click in limiter in the limiter you gotta check the following you gotta make sure that it says hard limit the input gain left and right must be in zero limit to db minus 150 and in fact we're gonna change it to minus 2 hold must be in 10 milliseconds apply makeup gain should set no and then you click ok what it does is hair clipping or waveform as you see from the beginning to the end it's completely flat but it's keeping the dynamic range that we need now what we do is go to effect again and click on normalize make sure that it says 0 dB and the three of them the three uh, ticks are marked then click OK and then you have it this is done for you I really like it this way from the beginning to the end touching the ceiling touching the zero zero dB but keeping the dynamic range that I want this is my style of course you can change it but why don't we listen to the results and you see what happens Of course, I'm not going to show you the whole song because I'm going to release it soon in a video in YouTube. You can use a lot of different options for finishing your project. Uh, you have different programs. You can use, for example, KWOK by BandLab. Uh, this comes with a plugin uh, for um, mastering that is called Boost 11. That is incredible. Uh, you have Soundbridge that is a complete DAW you have Reaper another DAW and those are uh, free software free DAWs that you can use from start to finish to make uh, your recording since we are making this series of videos about Pro Tools first um, I'm telling you this because this is not the only option but Pro Tools First is one of the most professional uh, sound that you can achieve with, with a DAW and in the easiest way
I hope you really like these videos. Please put your thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. We have a lot more videos to come about recording, about plugins and how to use different things like how to use a compressor, how to use a limiter and you'll see a lot more. I hope you like it. Have a nice day.